Global Community Collaborative. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 488. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together the people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our July 31st, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is global community collaboratives. And one community is a global community collaborative. We already have people working with our project from every continent on the planet, except for Antarctica. And we have had over 600 volunteers contribute to the project. And what we're creating is everything that you see happening in the background of the video here. We are creating open source tools, tutorials, resources for all aspects of highest good living. And those are put together to create teacher demonstration hubs designed to be built around the world to work in cooperation and collaboration as a global community collaborative for the highest good of all people and life on this planet. And more specifically, we've taken the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability and we're putting them together in these environments to create these teacher demonstration hubs to provide a way of living that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And the way that we're doing that is by taking the physical foundations, which are food, energy, and housing, combining them with the emotional foundations, which we've, we've identified as highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And by putting all of these things together and developing a cooperative and collaborative living environment, community environment, we can reduce the amount of time and energy people spend working and doing daily living activities, providing more free time, and create an environment that is rich with growth and social and recreational activities so that people have more free time and more things to do with those free time than with that free time. An environment that has food that is grown without poisons, doesn't have pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides. So we have housing that is built without, without toxins that is a healthier environment. So we have sustainable energy so we can reduce or eliminate the costs of energy or of our uh, power bills. You know, and then of course the fulfilled living practices, the education model, which is very ch child centric and parent centric, so that p parents and children can be a part of the creative process of their education program. All these things are being put together to be able, an economic model, the resource based economy, all these things are being put together to demonstrate a global community collaborative designed with the highest good of all people and life on this planet in mind. And so, we are creating this because we want to live this way. We're creating this because it's a pathway to global sustainability. And people say, well, how can you create global sustainability with one community? Well, it starts with one community at a time. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? But more specifically, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this model is attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And so that is exactly what we're doing. All the open source tools and tutorials and resources and do-it-yourself instructions and then developing the model as a place that people can come and experience and, and visit or live in if they want to dedicate their lives like we are to the creative process and the open source process. It's all designed to get the idea out there and to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so it'll spread on its own. And then like any viral movement, we can transform the paradigm of how people think about life right now. We can change it from the everyone for themselves paradigm to a cooperative and collaborative paradigm that is just more efficient and more sustainable. And the, this idea is not radical. You know, like already families work together to reduce the cost of living by, by sharing living expenses, to reduce the, the amount of time and energy that it takes to be able to do simple things like preparing food. You know, one or two people within a family can prepare food for 20 or 30 people. You know, you can do laundry for 20 or 30 people. You can handle childcare for several families. You know, as an example, you can go to the grocery store and buy groceries for the entire group. Now imagine doing this same thing in a completely sustainable environment where you're growing your own food, where you're building your own homes, where you're, where you're deploying in your own sustainable infrastructure, energy infrastructure, where you're running your own education programs, working in cooperation and collaboration to do things better. 
to do things the way that you want to do things by having complete control over your environment and by having more free time and more resources to be able to do everything that you do and redefining wealth and luxury living as access rather than ownership. Meaning if I have access to a car anytime that I need one, I don't need to own a car. If I have access to a lawnmower anytime I need one or tools or a jet ski or a motorcycle or a bicycle, do I need to own that bicycle? No, I do not. And if me and 50 of my friends collaborate and cooperate and work together to maintain those, we can buy a better bicycle. You know, and we can maintain that. We can have as many bicycles as we need to be able to service and serve the needs of our entire group for a fraction of the cost and space requirements and resource requirements of each and every single one of us owning them and then having them sit useless, unused. Think about it this way. 50% of our housing and our, our, our uh, business infrastructure sits empty all the time. Think about that. How is that about like, wait a minute, what? Really? Yeah, of course. Most people go to work and when they go to work, their houses sit empty. And when they're at work, their houses sit empty. And then when they're done at work, they come home. And when they're home, their businesses sit empty. And so we have this radical, crazy inefficiency of, of this work and, and home life relationship that doesn't really serve our needs. We can do better. And so one community is designed to do that. It's designed to create the entire environment to be a commodity that can be shared as an ecotourism destination. And the more fun that people are having and the more that people share, the more that we share and open source and free share everything that we're creating, the more the environment will succeed and thrive and benefit not only humanity, but benefiting us and benefiting the people that are coming visiting us, creating a win-win situation built on sustainability and sharing and a highest good for all philosophy designed to improve life for all people on this planet by open sourcing and free sharing that as a replicable model. And so this is what we're creating. This is our idea of global community collaborative creation is by creating a global collaborative to teacher demonstration hubs of teacher demonstration hubs designed to share this, to evolve this model and to meet the diverse needs and values of humanity. So if people look at our project and they say, oh, pff, I don't want to do that. I'm not interested in world change. No problem. It's open source and free shared, designed on sustainable infrastructure. Go do it differently. Do it better. Create it for different values. That's fine. If it's already using, though, foundations, the foundations that we've created, we really thought long and hard and done tens of thousands of hours of research to choose the best toilet that is the most sustainable and shower heads and faucets and insulation and building materials like that's all a step in the right direction and so if we can make this easy enough affordable enough and attractive enough to spread on its own just this if it weren't even the world changing ideas just the idea of really objectively looking at what is the best way to do things and we can make that accessible and and make that the new paradigm that alone could transform the world because it's it's leveling up the expectations of our hardware. It's leveling up the expectations of the products that we buy and the environments that we live in and the food that we eat. And it's showing people like, no, this is important. It's important to breathe clean air and drink clean water and eat food that doesn't have poison on it and live in environments that aren't made with toxic materials. Like cancer is a big deal. You know, if we could just do that, but our goals are so much bigger than that. Like we are addressing homelessness. We are addressing the lack of energy infrastructure around the world. We're addressing food insecurity. We are addressing um, social injustice and inequality. We are building environments where people can work together to create a way of living and a, and a lifestyle that is virtually impossible to achieve by yourself through cooperation and collaboration and changing that to the paradigm, the paradigm of highest good living, working together to create the world that we want and working together to create the environment that we want that gives more than it takes, that is a positive impact, has a positive impact on everyone within that environment, but also on the local environment, on the regional environment, and on the global environment as well, and creating a global cooperative and collaborative dedicated to that. So I've gone long. Um, this is what our project is all about. We're 100% volunteer. If you'd like to follow our progress, you'd like to help us out in the easiest way possible, like and subscribe to our video and our YouTube channel. Um, ring that bell so that you get a weekly dose of positivity from us. Uh, if you'd like to help out other ways, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see everything that our team has done in the last week, visit our weekly progress 
course update blog. And of course, if you'd like to see all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions on all aspects of highest li good living, food, energy, housing, fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship, all those things put together and being developed as a teacher demonstration hub, visit our website and you can see all that. This is what we're creating. This is our path to global community collaboratives that can change the world. And um, thanks for watching till the end. Stick around for another couple minutes if you'd like to see bullet points on all the major components of our project. And as always, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.